So here we go, let's get cracking. Open the tool bag up, yep, and see what we need in there. Firstly, the knife to unbox. So first things first, let's get this out of the box. And what we want is a couple of isolators for these. And they've got to go nice in here because we're limited to the amount of, oh, that's upside down, limited to the amount of cable they've left on them. We just want to live neutral and earth into that. So let's undo this. Start with. And I'm going to take that out. Not with that screwdriver. Mm -hmm. not. What we needed was a little flathead in there, like a terminal, just to get that clip undone, to slide it out, because it locates into that box. And now we'll grab a look how it's going to fix. So now I want to get this 20, in 20 mil, I reckon. Yep. And this, this. And I'll go to the outside. There we go. Use that for more rubbish. Because that will fit on there beautifully. We'll get the stuffing gland on in there. Nice and tight. There we go. And let's. Oh, look at that. Are they going to go in? Let's go in both sides so they're both the same. Keep them a bit symmetrical. That is up. Of course, put this one in. As well. and tight but I want to fix these holes as well so let's get some holes in the back you're joking I got that one upside down what a twit there's always one oh, that's the right way up thing is it wouldn't matter but it does because the isolators are not going to fit back in but luckily for me I'm going to go out that side at the top so I can also do this bottom one there we go put that in there accidents happen but we got round it didn't have to use a blind grommet. Yeah, like so. So now we have two. And then when this sits on here, these two are gonna come in nice and neat down there. So let's do this one, this side. And then what we want, because we're limited with the space a bit, it will go into the bottom. So, let's get these on. A bit of space in between them, not level. There we go, so we'll go into there, into there, into there. Now we want to get rid of this. Put that back in there, and we could do with a six mil masonry bit, which should go straight in. And that has got a bit of silicone around there to seal up before I put the 
raw plugs in. Let's get these fishy ones. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we're just going to go into these. Uh, we might need a bit more silicon around them for the box to sit back because they're outside. I'm going to put a bit around them once they're in. There we go. Where's that hole? There it is. Get a hammer. There we go. There we go. Makes it look a complete mess. But the boxes will cover that up. Stupid stuff. Now we need this. Get rid of this, which will be red hot. I'll take that out. I'm going to have to get rid of these cable ties to get it to go in neat. So, we get this little thing with job job. And it's going to be tight, but I want it to go there. So this one hasn't got a lot on it. If I need to, I can get some more. And then that one. Wants to go into there. Just nice and soft. Just to score it. Then you give it a bend. And look at that. It's come out beautifully. And we'll go in here. Like so. And I can tie that back on that cable tie. And then again, I can go in here like so and then tie them back on put a couple of cable ties back in here which they've used for this there we go and there we go flush cutters on there, on there. Right, so we've got that in. And then I want to get the glands into there, which we have. A couple of outdoor glands here with these. Should I put these on this end? Yes, because then the other end, I can put the tags on. They just look better this end. That yeah, comes with a little Allen key as well. Makes it easier. Right. So in that side, because it can, well, I say cut into the metal. I want it to cut into the metal. Plastic. Put this and do this. Right, well I've decided to use the locking ring nut for this end just for more space. In there. Like so. And then I use these at the board end because then they will cut in and be better. In my head. Get these off because they're getting fed by armoured cable. Look at that idea there, should have come up with these two middle ones. I didn't know though. So I'm going to come straight down there and this one's going to venture off into that one. And we'll do this up. <coughs> 
right. So now they're nice and tight. Yep. They're nice and tight. I'm gonna cut the armored cable going across and the board's behind that wall. Now with these little cable plugs that I'm gonna to put to cable tie the, the cable to the wall, I didn't have a big enough SDS bit. So I drilled them out of a six mil, then got an old metal bit to basically make them a little bit bigger to get these to go in. Because these little clips I'm gonna hammer in here, they don't need a raw plug. They basically just hammer straight into the wall for you to be able to put your cable tie on and uh, cable tie your cables to it. So these are the little clips I've got here. Look like little wiggly things, little plastic, nice and easy. Put them over in your position and hammer them on. And they're in there quite strong, to be honest. But yeah, I, I don't use them too often, but I've got a pack now, so I might use them a little bit more. And then these can go straight in. Funky little things. put a cable tie through just like this and tie the two cables going up that'll go through that hole into the board and this is where I'm going to make the armoured cable off before I put it into the isolator basically do this end first to work my way back that's my plan and I put the shroud over the top so I'll get a nice tight fit in and then put that on there nice and tight so that'll look seal it nice so no water and that will get into there which we have got an outdoor gland anyway so that'll be fine and then i've got my little armored tool but as you see in this video for some reason i don't know what it was this tool didn't work i think i might have the blades that are a bit blunt so i've got to get some more blades for it because i had to result to using the hacksaw for some reason, yes, it just didn't score it enough to bend that armoured. I'm unsure what it was. I feel like it was something to do with the cable. Because every other time I've used that armoured stripping cable, it's been perfect. But for some reason, it just didn't do the job. So yes, obviously I've got a hacksaw in the kit as well. So I thought I'd go back to the hacksaw. And to be honest with you, it didn't do a fantastic job like with the hacksaw either. And that blade was brand new. So I think, yeah, it's something to do with that cable. I wouldn't be buying that cable again. <clears throat> yeah, well, that thing, blades are knackered. So I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way with a hacksaw, where you get a decent score all the way around. And then it should bend off beautifully. That's exactly what I want. And that is how armoured cable should come to bits. Get a nice score, a couple of bends, and yeah, they should come off lovely. And with all the faffing about with the hacksaw, I um, forgot to put the shroud on and the other part of the gland. So luckily, before I cut that last little bit off, we're going to thread that on and make sure to get that little banjo the white right around because otherwise, yeah, it won't clamp onto the actual armoured cable when you put it into the gland. And leave plenty on it to go into the box. What I want to do is just score it with that Stanley blade just a little bit and then bend it to snap the rest so you don't damage the cable inside. And then all you want is just enough, maybe an inch or so, just so it will go over the gland. So the gland can clamp onto the armoured and then be earthed as well because you don't want it too much on these uh, outdoor glands because you don't want it shining up through the shroud or through the brass top. So... Yeah, just make it to an inch or so, and then make sure it goes in there over. On this one, it's quite good because you can see it all. Sometimes you can't see it, but make sure it goes over that gland and not inside because it won't clamp it on the inside. It will just be rubbish. So make sure it goes over, tighten it up nice and tight, and then that is your gland made off. Well, that's the earths in to that connection block. Basically, there's another connection block in here for the neutrals. But with this one, we can go through with the neutrals. Or, yeah, to be honest with you, I'm not 100% what that other one's for. Because 
with this, the neutral can go through there and L1, L2 and L3 are all controlled by the isolator. But it's got another one in there for bonding maybe. I'll tell you what, the next person who invents an isolator, do them a bit bigger, do them a bit longer because then you need the space down here to terminate. I get it, they're nice and compact, but it's a bleeding nightmare to get together if you take that out. And with these ones, I'm gonna double them over because these are two five and that's four mil. Four mil can go straight in, but these ones I'm just gonna double over just to get a bit of a tight connection to go in. Right, so then now we have got the neutrals in and the live going through there. With the neutrals going through there, lives going through there, so L1, L2 and L3, both ends are not used. So then now we want to do is put the front covers on for now till we get to testing again. Which what do I do with that screwdriver? Plong Mate, what do I do with that? It's gotta be one of these. There we go, we'll have that one. Right. And this is good to make sure that. I've got them the right way up and they sit right in there. Yes. This was this one. And I will do some labels once it's on at the board end. That's a bit of a trick. There we go. And then these can be on once. We've got this end over here and into here. Which is for another day.